Worried that his mother would be rearrested should she set foot in the great sept of Baylor for his sister's wake, Tommen has Cersei confined within the Red Keep for her perceived safety, to her unseen anger. When confronted by Jaime, Tommen tells him that he felt his mother was somehow responsible for Prince Tristane's murder, but was no longer upset with her, despite knowing that she had rearmed the faith militant. Jaime chastises his nephew for this very action, himself irate over his sister not being able to see her daughter in the sept. Right before encountering the High Sparrow, Jamie tells Tommen to head to the Red Keep and apologize to Cersei, which he does soon after. Upon seeing his mother, Tommen tearfully apologizes for his earlier command and wishes he was tougher in order to deal with those that would wrong him, especially in light of his earlier humiliation, when he failed to force the Faith Militant to release his brother-in-law, as well as his inability to fight for his queen upon her arrest. Cersei readily accepts his apology and offers her son help in gaining his desired power and effectiveness. Later, Tommen and his Kingsguard visit the High Sparrow to seek permission for his mother Cersei to visit Marcella's crypt at the Great Sept of Baelor. The High Sparrow denies Tommen's request on the grounds that his mother has not been cleared of the other crimes, namely killing King Robert Baratheon and incest. Tommen criticizes the Sparrow for his harsh treatment of Cersei when she has already atoned for her other two crimes falsehood and fornication. In response, the High Sparrow compliments Tommen for his deep love to his mother, which he attributes to the mother, one of the seven manifestations of the seven. When Tommen questions why the Sparrow wants to punish his mother, the latter replies that he is merely carrying out the will of the seven. The High Sparrow urges Tommen to turn to the seven for wisdom. Before Tommen leaves, he tells the king that the seven have worked through his grandfather and mother, even though they may not have acknowledged it. Later, Tommen is briefed by Grand Maester Pycel, who advises him to accommodate the High Sparrow. His mother Cersei walks in on the briefing and asks Pycel to leave under the pretext of asking her son about the latest small council meeting. Tommen proposes that the Iron Throne not antagonize the High Sparrow in order to safeguard Marjorie. Cersei then reminds her son about her humiliation at the hands of the Sparrow. Exploiting Tommen's love for Marjorie, she tells her son that the Sparrow has no respect for kings, queens, and society. Tommen then tells her a secret that the High Sparrow had told him not to share with anyone else, that the Sparrow is planning Marjorie's walk of atonement. The High Sparrow later allows Tommen to speak with Marjorie. He reassures her the crowds would go easy on his wife since Marjorie is popular with the people. In her cell, Marjorie speaks positively of the Sparrow and expresses contriteness for her sins. Tommen finds himself agreeing with her assessment of the Sparrow and decides to convert to the faith of the Seven. His religious piety reaches its apex when his uncle, Jaime Lannister leads a Tyrell show of force outside the Great Sept of Baelor, where Tommen and his Kingsguard exit the doors of the Sept under the Sparrow's signal. The Sparrow announces to the crowd that Marjorie will not have to make the walk because she has brought another to the faith. Addressing the crowd, Tommen announces that the crown and the faith are the two pillars that hold up the realm. As a symbolic gesture, he and Marjorie raise their hands to the applause of the crowd. Later, Tommen strips Jamie of his position as Lord Commander of the Kingsguard for attacking the faith and the crown. He then places his uncle in charge of a Lannister army sent to help the Freys lay siege to Riverrun, which has been retaken by the Tullys. During a royal announcement, King Tommen restates that the crown and the faith are the two pillars that hold up the world. He adds that all those who break the law will be judged by the father. He declares that the trials of Cersei and Loras Tyrell would take place at the Great Sept on the first day of the Festival of the Mother. To Cersei's horror, Tommen then abolishes trial by combat, denouncing it as a barbaric practice that has allowed corrupt rulers and lords to evade justice. He adds that Cersei and Loras will be tried before seven septons as it was in the earliest days of the faith. Tommen is preparing to attend the trials of his mother and brother-in-law, only to have his progress blocked by Sir Gregor Clegane, who keeps Tommen in his chambers, presumably on Cersei's orders. He then watches in horror as the Great Sept explodes, killing everyone inside, including Marjorie, her brother, and their father Mace Tyrell, as well as hundreds of innocents in the surrounding district. Tommen watches the sept burn for some time, his shock replaced with grim determination. With the death of his wife and family, the loss of the center of his newfound faith, as well the knowledge that his own mother was responsible for the deaths of so many innocents, he lays down his crown and calmly, with no hesitation, steps out of his bedroom window to his death. Later, 
Cersei visits Tommen's body and orders him to be burned and buried in what is left of the Great Sept of Baelor, saying he should be buried where his grandfather, brother, and sister are buried. 